Morning Sheep fans, Cammy's the name, Sheep's the game, Dream Team's out today, Jock's playing with the weed killer, is that weed killer in there mum or just water? That's fine, come on Jock, come on. What we at today, more sheep work, we are hogs this time. This is the last lot to be dozed and crowvecked, although Lizzie reckons we're quite short of the old crowvecked, are we? But we don't need to do the lambs here. Just the ewes. So, last batch. The youngest lambs, the last ones to lamb. Joint owl lamb here. Still not getting any better. Unfortunately, off one of our blue faced Lesters. Can't win them all. We've had a lot of joint ill this year, as I keep saying. Quite depressing, it's always the ones you look at, not the other. 50 good lambs, you just look at that one lamb and it annoys you. Jock, what are you saying today? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> and we're on. Okay, so we're into it already. I was on the phone there, Lizzie and Marissa have already started. White faced Dartmoors, here we go. Let me lift one up. This is Lizzie's special pedigree sheep, all the way from, from Dartmoor down in Devon. Is Dartmoor in Devon, Lizzie? I ask that every time. Yeah, Dartmoor in Devon. Look at that. White faced Dartmoor, born their shirt. Might be the first ever. I've not had them to tell me they've got some. So we're going to tag them. So, breeding tags. They get two. This is a female. That one wasn't in as far as I'd like it to be. But let's do this one a bit better. Keep it the same side of the ear, round about the middle. Boom. There you go. That's okay. I'll be fine. So two tags there. You see, it says the sheep game. It says the sheep game 2022. We're actually using last year's breeding tags for this lamb. These lambs, but that's okay. Just because we had some extra. And they all have to be registered alongside mum. Here. And uh, by the way, I can feel this, it's really warm today. I'm about to take this top off. A lot of heat in this sheep here. Really warm, took the wool's really long in these. These would have been shown in May last year, so probably need to think about getting them shown pretty soon. Blue faced Lester here. Another white faced Dartmoor, this is her lamb here. This is her white faced Dartmoor lamb here. Just a single. That was a weather though. There we go. All good. Next job is tags all in, does for the lambs. Marissa's is giving him a rike about worm doze. Jock is wanting to doze as well, so he's got his own wee dozing gun and he wants to vlog. Hey, good morning, sheep fans. Jock's holding it yourself there. He's quite good at that. I'll hold the dozing gun, Jock, that's fine. Good morning. All right, where are you going? You're going to fall again, stop running. Should say we are, uh, rike been dozing is a, a white wormer. It's for nematode iris this time of year. It's starting to flash through the country, can kill lambs like that before it ever shows in the dung. So there's no samples for this. Every other future does will dung sample the sheep before they're dozed. And Lizzie's on the gas gun, although she doesn't hold her bottle upside down, which doesn't help. Oh, gas has run out. Surely not. No, there's a lot of pressure there. Is it? I can hear the gas when you go. Eh, uh, what's happening there? Press it again to feel it. I see it. Mm. It's a nozzle or something, is it not? It sounds... It sounds like it's going on right. We can do is it? Should I jack off one? Is that again? No, it's definitely not right. Getting enough ones, they're getting better. Come on, girls. Shh, shh, shh. Shh. We don't need too much in our bums, remember? That's it going better now. That's the gas coming through now. Angus is here too. So, Lizzie was second at Les Mahego yesterday. Hopefully, I've done a vlog about that. I'm not sure, it was quite erratic. Because I got all stressed up a bit. I, I, I got. Well, I'm not a kid so much, but more about my own cheer and I get all worked up about what I do well and then I forget about vlogging and then I'm like, oh, I wish I'd done a vlog. But that's, that's life. 
Hogs are actually not too bad a condition. Uh, white faced Dartmoor, hogs, all these hogs we bought for Pin Valley. That's actually a homebred hog, that one. Pin Valley, white faced Dartmoor, Angus, Jock, Lizzie, Mark. Just in case you've forgotten the two seconds since I, I mentioned them. Middle Scone Farm merch, looking good. The big white faced Dartmoor lamb, he, ram, lamb, ram here. Big boy's been running with his girls for a while. He's in some fettle. Huge. No, he's absolutely fine. He's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, he's in some fettle. But we'll get him shed out away from the girls now, just in case they start becoming receptive to him again. You know what these females are like soon after lambing. Here's one we missed earlier. She she was late to the lambing, but look, you can see the maggots crawling about in here. This is the importance of crutching. In here, you'll see. Watch, I'll, I'll open this up, and you'll see them even better. Stay in there, stay in close to there, Martin. We'll just see if it comes down. Look at that. That's that's why it's so important to to crutch your dirty bums. Now she was late to the lambing. Look at them all writhing out of here. We'll just get, get the rest of this done here. Yeah, it's totally all gone. All gone. We'll put a bit of Crovect on it just in case. No damage to that sheep, not into the flesh yet. But that's just a great example of why all dirty bums need to be shown. It's mine, alright. Last little batch here. 67 ewes in this lot. She lame, just looking for any with sore feet as we go. Any sore feet wee lammies? Oh, you're the last wee lamb to be bombed. Last few to get tags in. Oh no, there's some along the road still to get tags, so we don't have an accurate count yet. I think we're going to be just under a thousand lambs for the year. Real professional organisation, we're not actually sure if everything's finished lambing yet or not. A couple of belters, so, right, we Beltex lambs out of hogs. Oh, whoa, wee lammy, whoa, wee lammy. Come on, on you go. Last lot of way out. Just like that. Job done. Warm, warm weather forecast, so. Yeah, things are going to get dry. Not so bad for us in Ayrshire because we're always wet, so there's a lot of moisture in the ground, quite heavy soils here, but down Devon, you'll burn up fast. Right, foot bath next. Sheep are through the foot bath. The next job is these boys, moving them closer to home. They must be getting warm now. Hey, right, big man, calm down. Calm down, it's okay. Anybody sore of their feet? They're not too bad, actually. Mm, oh. oh, they're starting to hit into the creep feeder. That's what we don't want. They'll end up knocking that over. That's for the lambs that are going to come in here. Guys, you are going closer at home. Stop fighting. Right, Meg, confirm. Right, let's get them moving. For the right place. How you doing? <coughs> Why doing? Oh, big lad, you just get bowled right over. Come on, back to your feet. Jesus. Steady. He's counting his back there. Lovely little bit of the farm, this, just through between these trees. It really is a bonny wee bit.
How many? 24. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he just sneezed and he's covered in snorters. Jeez. <laughs> Jockey boy. That was a belter of a sneeze. There we go. Hogs to go out to the field now. What are we bringing them, Lizzie? Through here? Definitely. Well, another day done. It wasn't really a, a full day. It is a Sunday. We're taking it at a nice pace. I now have to take a little drive down to Dulscone and Dumfries. Very popular uh, on Facebook especially. Have a have a look at them, Dulscone Farm Fun. Got some merch for them. Heading down there. That's the end of this one. Hope you've enjoyed it, sheep fans. See you for the next one.